Yesterday, we talked about the very narrow attempt by a couple of Republicans in Wayne County in Michigan to not count the votes of Detroit. Because let's keep it real, they didn't want black people's vote to count because they knew it wasn't gonna go for Donald Trump. Well, another person on that has gone viral now in a video taking down those two individuals and pointing out what their legacy will end up being. Take a look at that. Um, you talked about not certifying Detroit, even though you acknowledge that Livonia, a city, by the way, I know you know is 95% white, had bigger variances than Detroit, which is 80% black. We understand, and you now added your name. So I, I'm not gonna try to change your mind. I just wanna let you know that the Trump stick, the stain of racism that you, William Hartman and Monica Palmer have just em- covered yourself in is going to follow you throughout history. Your grandchildren are going to think of you like Bull Connor or George Wallace. Monica Palmer and William Hartman will forever be known in southeastern Michigan as two racists who did something so unprecedented that they disenfranchised hundreds of thousands of black voters in the city of Detroit because they were ordered to. Probably, I know, Monica, you think Q told you to do it or some other crazy stuff like that. But just know when you try to sleep tonight that millions of people around the world now on Twitter know the name Monica Palmer and William Hartman as two people completely racist and without an understanding of what integrity means or a shred of human decency. You, The law isn't on your side. History won't be on your side. Your conscience will not be on your side. And Lord knows, when you go to meet your maker, your soul is going to be very, very warm. Damn. Dan, what do you think? Yes, like every time I hear this quote, it fills me with so much energy. Like, I, this is what I think more people would be interested in politics and engaged in politics again, if they saw their politicians and their representative officials actually behave like this and defend them mm-hmm. in this way. Um, like he's going in and like there, there's some people who all of a sudden now that it's looking like Trump is on the way out potentially, these Republicans are returning back to this day of respectability politics where like Matt Gates is upset that someone dare brings up his son or whatever in the offices while you have all these horrible things that are going on. Like, just think of the horrors that have happened to the black people of Detroit over the past even 10 years through the recession, through um, like the lead poisoning that was uncovered by lots of work and journalists and things like that. And to have their vote taken away, the idea that it's gonna be not certified for them. The way he, that guy said it best, it's going to be a stain on their records in history and like their grandkids. Are going to like be kind of disgusted that they're kind of related to this. Yeah. Um, it's disgusting and it sucks for those grandkids, but like this is so despicable. And I'm glad he really spoke truth to power there. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I mean, it should enrage everyone. It it should be a bigger story. It's a big story, but generally the big story is is sort of swamped by how much insanity is is going on in the Trump legal effort to do this sort of thing with variations in so many different states. But that's that's on Trump and on Trump's legal team. Um, those two individuals, uh, William Hartman and Monica Palmer, like it is rare that individuals or just two individuals get to be this diabolically racist. But they were given the opportunity and they chose it. And we'll get into in a little bit sort of why they ended up choosing it. But the, the base of it is they see this city which is overwhelmingly non-white and they think it would be convenient if they didn't count. They don't count for me, it would be great if officially they didn't count either. It's sort of like the definition of institutional racism. It is the structures of our government taking an entire community and saying, you can go F off, you don't count for anything. We're gonna keep the racist in charge. Um, So the great rant, we're gonna try to reach out to the guy, maybe we can get him. Uh, it was something, and I'm sure he he's going to be, you know, he's going to be harassed. He's probably going to get death threats because of this. Um, but the insane times that we're in right now, I think, require a strong response, and it's rare we get one as strong as that. And I just wanted to add one thing. I I tweeted this out earlier. There was a headline on Town Hall, that like right wing website, and the headline is written by Beth Bauman. Detroit's votes might not count, and that would be a win for the Trump team. That's the headline. It's just totally honest. This city 
isn't gonna count. We're gonna do the rest of the state. We're gonna we're gonna certify everything else. We're just gonna do a donut of certified, and then right in that center, we're not gonna have it count. And if it works, oh God, it would really give us a boost as we try to do the same thing to Atlanta and maybe to Philly as well. Weird, the pattern that we're not going to acknowledge there. The whole thing is just so disgusting, so disgusting. But as we hear all the time, America is a post-racial society. We did, after all, elect Barack Obama, Dan. Right, of course. And um, his memoir sold like almost 900,000 copies on his first day. So if that's not the end of racism, I don't know what is. But seriously, it's just in, absolutely infuriating the idea that they can, they think that, and this is, we all have to understand and contextualize. Yeah, you said, John, there's so much going on with the legal challenges currently that Donald Trump is doing, and most of them are failing miserably, that it's hard to really catch on to everything. But I think what we have to look for, look at this moment as, is a really chaotic case study of the lengths at which the Republican Party is willing to go to suppress the black vote, to suppress yeah. the vote of people who don't likely vote the way they want them to, instead of going out to actually get voters to support them for their ideals and their policies. Now, Democrats are also not doing a great job of getting that those ideals and policies out there. I think they could do a better job and they have a great opportunity to right now, the best opportunity they've had to in years for sure. Um, but they can't squander it because this is what they're up against. We need to remember yeah. that this is what we are always up against. And so we can't hold back. I agree, uh, and he didn't. Very good job there by that individual. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.